Hello, my name's Emily. I'm a dietitian. I also go by Dietitian MK, and I wanted to introduce myself. I'm a practicing registered dietitian. My nine to five is I work as a clinical dietitian in an outpatient center, and outside of my nine to five is when I kind of do a little bit more of this and I get to practice more from a nine diet approach and practice as a nine diet dietitian. What a nine diet dietitian is, or you might have also heard of an anti-diet dietitian, is kind of someone who who rejects the diet mentality, which we live in kind of a diet culture world around like dieting and the hyperfixation on weight loss and body image and comparison, stuff like that we see in the media and social media that we've been seeing for decades, if not centuries. Something else that I kind of practice is I practice with a weight neutral approach. So I don't really do anything with weight loss, weight gain. Um, I practice a lot from the intuitive eating scope. There are elements of intuitive eating I like to practice, um, especially kind of helping people find food freedom, accept body neutrality, and just kind of heal their relationship with food. I'm realizing I'm talking a lot about kind of what I practice, but Tell you a little bit more about myself. I completed my undergraduate degree, my bachelor's at Purdue University. I went on to complete my graduate degree, my master's and dietetic internship. I don't know if you can hear that, sorry, Chicago. I went on to complete my graduate degree and dietetic internship with Benedictine University. And then I started kind of working in the field. So like I said, I work in clinical, a clinical nutrition setting during the day and at night, I do a lot more practice with kind of social media, with recipe development, especially my lazy girl recipes, because as someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, um, I like to kind of provide easy recipes to try because I completely understand the time element of it, the energy element of it. We don't all have time to like meal prep every week, every single meal, or make a full on course. Sometimes you just need to kind of a one pot meal or limited ingredients to kind of get you through the day. Additionally, besides recipes, I do a lot of blogging as well, which you can find on my website at emknutrition.net. You can also find some free eBooks on there as well, I'm developing a course that will help people kind of help heal their relationship with food. And yeah, I don't really know what else you want to know. Um, this is kind of my favorite spot. In my free time, I'm an avid reader. I am a huge romance, romance novel advocate, fiend, enthusiast. I love reading. I'm also really big into hiking, really big into trying new food items. And as something I'm here as well, we'll see not only will you see like recipes and grocery hauls, um, you'll see some day in my life as well when we kind of adventure around Chicago. Something I didn't mention at any point is I live in Chicago with my partner. I'm sure you'll let me know <laughs> what you want to see more of. I'm so excited to connect with you more, especially with how weird the social media space is right now with TikTok and Meta and everything going on. YouTube will definitely be somewhere I'm going to be more present on and I'm excited to meet all of you and talk with all of you and yeah I hope you're just as excited as I am to be here and I'm so excited to share everything I know what I continue to learn because the way I practice right now if you look at me like two three years ago when I was in school it's a completely different mindset I have. So yeah, excited to share this, everything I know with you and can't wait for what's to come in the future. I think in another world, I'm a book talker. In another world, I would just post book reviews, but I'm also way too strongly opinionated about books. So I feel like, I don't know. 
Also, if you're in Chicago or you're from Chicago or you travel to Chicago at any point and there was a really cool like coffee shop or bar or restaurant you went to, let your girl know. We're always doing date nights every week where we try new restaurants, but I am down to try everything and anything. So I want to know what you like, what you recommend. I'll take you along with me as well. All right, this is enough of that.